Hey, for my VIP session today, what we're gonna do is go through some live listings and I'm just gonna give tips on how to improve them. I'm actually gonna go over to amazon.com and just look at random products. One of the benefits of doing this is you can figure out and learn some new techniques and understand how I take a listing down live. So let's jump into it. So I'm gonna go over to amazon.com here and I'm just gonna uh, type something in here, um, say gift for him, right? And we're gonna scroll down, we're just gonna click on a random product, something that's organically indexed very well or ranks high. By the way, the difference between indexing versus ranking, indexing showing means showing up in the first 300 results. And uh, ranking means showing up at the top of those results. So if we look at these, these are SEO position one through four right here. We even have an Amazon's choice, date night ideas, massage oil, right? So all the gifts for him angles are very uh, different than the gifts for her angle. So if we, if we go gifts for her and see what we see here, very different sort of lineup of items, is it not, right? Uh, you know, very lovey-dovey and bath bombs. So um, that gives you kind of an idea of what people are expecting. Whenever you're doing keyword research, I highly recommend you look up the keyword in question, right? Because if you're trying to rank on a keyword, chances are whatever currently shows up for that keyword would be a good idea to have on uh, on your radar, because if you start to try and show up for a very different clientele based on what the consumer is expecting, you're not going to win that ranking. You might index for it, but you'll never win clicks. You'll never win uh, add to carts and purchases by doing that. You might get a few impressions, but impressions aren't good if you don't get the clicks. All right. So if we look at some of these options, we've got comfy, oversized fiber Sherpas and all kinds of things and birthday gifts. And, and you know, here's a good example of a video showing off jewelry. Uh, what I really like about this is you get the face shot early in the video showing it off. Uh, it's very contextualized. It's not that great of a video ad, but you still get the uh, glamour shots and whatnot. So that's always good too. Oh, everybody loves a good burrito blanket. These guys have 60,000 reviews, which is kind of crazy, right? Let's go check this one out. Let's see what they got going on here. Uh, may not be able to find too much to do on this listing because they're doing a lot of things correct, right? Uh, they're showing the, the, the flannel fabric. That's good. Uh, they got the face shots. They got the contextual, like what you can do with it and how it's funny and you can roll up in it. Um, their graphics are kind of a little bit on the less developed side, right? So like double-sided, this was probably one of their weakest graphics here. Uh, but that's, you know, it's an important point nonetheless. All the bullets are filled out. They've got some of the, um, text outlaid, um, they even have care instructions, first brand to purchase and sell the burrito blanket. We've always been communicating to provide customers interesting and practical products. So they're basically trying to make the claim that they were first to market and clearly they're first to market. They got 60,000 reviews for crying out loud. They've got their brand story uh, and get cozy, warm and fun. I think that this is probably one of the weakest brand stories I've seen. They filled it out, good for them, but there's just no modules here, right? So if we scroll to the right, there's just I, like, there's such an opportunity. If we, if we go back up here, see how many products these guys have. They've got different colors. They've got freaking waffles and pepperoni pizzas and um and they're they're definitely going with the family friendly vibe as you kind of scroll through here and I, i'm definitely picking up on that but like down here we're not linking to enough products like keep in mind these brand stories here have an incredible value because you can link to every single product you want lots of different modules available right so now i can click on this product and what, what's really great about that is if you scroll up here, see how I can see all the competitor products. Well, what wouldn't you want to just like have people look at your products and scroll through your products down here? So that's what's missing from the brand story. Uh, not enough text, not enough products. Let's see if they added alt text. They did not. They put image alt equal one. All right. So they don't have an SEO guy on their team. Big opportunity that they could have and, and go in and do that. Let's scroll down to the A plus content. And by the way, the alt text totally indexes. Very important, very big opportunity that's been missed here. 
If we scroll down to the A plus content, there is not a single word of crawlable text until down here, right there. That's when we first see it. So all of these images, they might look nice, but they're not doing anything for SEO. And I'm going to guess they didn't set the alt text here. Nope. Image one. Image image one. So, so the designer has no idea how to do SEO and the guy that owns the brand doesn't have an SEO expert on staff. That's, that's clear. So all of this text that's inside of these images might look great, might be easy to read on mobile, but it doesn't help index the product. Now you might be saying well, they got 60,000 reviews, who cares? They probably have staying power. You're probably right. But if you were going to try and grow this brand, this is how you'd have to do it. You'd have to come in here. You'd have to redo some of the design content, code it for SEO, and make sure uh, that it's programmed with a lot of new SEO best practices. If we look at this keywords data and pull this up in Helium 10. So pulling up Helium here, let me grab the ASIN and go search for get keywords here. What we're gonna see is these guys are gonna come in with like probably 8,000 keywords index. It's gonna be an insane number. I know it, right? So let's see how how high it is. 8,900. Did I not say 8,000? Get pretty good at this. And if we look at their number of sponsored keywords, it's a 2,400. So they're, they've got an appropriate number of keywords. I do like to see like a one to two ratio, one sponsored keyword to two organic. But in the case of a product like this, where you're indexed for 8,900 8, keywords, you obviously can't advertise on 4,500 keywords. It just, it just, it's just going to be a waste of money. So but if you have a normal product in the two to 3,000 keywords index range, advertising on half of those makes a lot of sense. All right, so if we look at this data and we were gonna be like, okay, what could we do keyword rank organic 20 through 50? I do this during my Amazon guys SEO phase three. I'm a big fan of, um, of looking at strike zone keywords and we filtered 1800 opportunities. Now, if we look at the data here and we sorted this by search volume, they're indexing for Christmas gifts, blanket, just all kinds of just high search volume terms here. Now, they're not advertising on most of these. You can see there's a blank keyword rank out on the second to last row uh, column over here. And but if we look at this data, we could quickly figure out like gifts for teenage girls. That's definitely on brand for these guys. 83,000 search volume. They're in organic rank 22 right now. Boom, this is the sort of product we're gonna wanna index highly on. So as we scroll down here, we're not actually seeing their product until right there. So I, I would question whether they're actually in SEO organic rank 22. Sometimes the data in Cerebro and Helium 10 a little, little bit delayed sometimes. Um, and, and sometimes the results can be a little bit different, but it's it's directional, it's helpful. So it's absolutely on page one. It's, it's an opportunity. Uh, and so if we, wanted to rank better on this keyword, what should we do? Well, we should take the exact match keyword, gifts for teenage girls, and we should go on their listing and control F it. Enter, not a single exact match. If I was gonna redo this, blanket for your family? Uh-uh, it ain't a blanket for your family. Clearly, it's not a blanket for the family. Clearly, it's a blanket for tweens and teenage girls. And the data supports that. Gifts for teenage girls. Teen girls trendy stuff. If we went through the data left and right, we're going to find these keywords showing up, right? Like, and, 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 and this is with like eight minutes of analysis. We're figuring out how to level up this product very quickly. So what I would do if I was going to redo this is I would make image slot number two have the keyword gigantic on the text of the graphic and say, you know, teenage gift for girls, uh, and then I would take the title and I would say teenage gift for girls or gifts for teenage girls. And then I would go to the bullets and I would have a highlighted teenage gift for girls, gifts for teenage girls. And then I would go down to the brand story and say, our brand was built to make teenage gift for girls. Go down to the A plus content and make a giant header outside of the image so that you get SEO indexing juice and ranking juice and write teenage gift for girls or gifts for teenage girls and put it into the alt text in every single photo, every single photo. Now you wouldn't do this in SEO phase one. You would wanna do this in an advanced stage because having multiple iterations of a keyword does not help you index. It helps you rank. And the difference again, ranking for a keyword is when you wanna show up in the top 300. They already do that. 
So when you're doing advanced SEO rank, rank juice, it's about ranking the product and showing up higher. Therefore, having iterative uh, approach here where you come in and shift your keywords because SEO is not set it and forget it. Having the keyword show up multiple times will help you rank it higher in the SERPs. I'm going to repeat that because it's so important. Having a keyword multiple times on your listing will help you rank it higher on the top of Amazon. If you want to take this product from here and scroll up and rank it up here, you need to show the keyword on the listing exact match multiple times. Very important. Uh, so we we found a huge, huge opportunity here. Search volume on the way up too. You can see a search volume history, which is kind of cool, right? So this is actually how I figured out like how to enter into certain markets. So if we look at this, check this out. Like in 2021, in September, search volume was only 500 a, a month, a week. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right. So what does that tell us? Well, first of all, what the heck? Why in, why is June the month where you're looking for teen, girly, trendy stuff? I, I don't know. That's that's weird. Uh, there's something there. But it spikes again uh, in October. Weird trend lines that we're seeing. I suspect that this keyword was probably um, one of those keywords that Amazon started to make an autocomplete for, which is why we see a lot of this data show up. So if we come at the top to Amazon and we type in... Uh, the keyword. I'm gonna I'm gonna delete a couple keywords here. Teen girls, trendy stuff. See how the first autocomplete is is on the market here, and so what happens is Amazon will create a new subcategory, a new trend line like this, and then everybody and their dogs is clicking that. Therefore, that's the keyword to chase. So one of the next hacks you might want to consider doing is coming in here and creating um, or running through the motions of searching for product and take different various keywords, right? So if you start with the word teen, you're gonna get different results versus gifts for teenage girls, right? Or see, notice how there's teen with three E's here. I misspelled it, right? You're gonna get different results for the misspelling than you will the correct spelling. And then you got girls between 14 and 16 versus 12 and 14. Those are very different demographic targeting here. Uh, so so those, are, those are the options and various things you need to do uh, to, to really make this work. So there's the trend line. That's cool. Let's check one more trend line out here. Gifts for teenage girls trend line. I want to see that one next. And whoa, that's weird, right? So gifts for teenage girls used to be gigantic in the Christmas season of 2021. Well, we're at the very bottom of that potential chart. Look at, look, we're at 83,000 search volume right now. It's, uh, you know, so, so like when we're going into this November month, this thing's gonna gigantically spike. I mean, check this out. So like if there's a keyword you're gonna wanna spend some PPC on right now, this is the one. If you're selling uh, burrito blankets, I mean, like, I mean, that's just a gigantic opportunity. So now not only did we discover we're gonna need to do some SEO work on this term, we're gonna need to do some PPC work. There's gonna be some important maneuvers and changes to make here. A lot of awesome things. So. That was with just a few minutes of, of work. We saw on the listing all of the opportunities and we can we can do a lot of sales growth and opportunities. One thing I do like about their listing uh, is they do have a product grid here where we can showcase and see some additional products with some check boxes, check boxes with links to those different things. Fabric, all showing the word flannel multiple times that gets multiple iterations of the keyword on the page. And I like that kind of stuff. Um, getting a little hungry? I think so. Uh, obviously, great products. They've proven themselves, got 60,000 five-star reviews. They're doing something right. But whenever you want to level up a product and take it to the next level, these are the things that you need to do. Uh, my name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. And today we talked about how to level up a listing. If you ever want to get in touch with uh, me or learn more about what we do as an agency, you can pop on over to myamazonguy.com. We also have courses at mag-school.com, and that's where you can uh, grab our most advanced certificates like SEO, PPC, design and catalog. And we also have uh, a lot of different things we can do to help out. We also launched sellercentraljobs.com this year to help you find future VAs and virtual assistants across the world. And they take their certificates from Mag School and load them up into Seller Central Jobs. So thanks for watching today and thanks for having me on. We'll see you guys later.